We easily spend hundreds of dollars in airsoft on weapons and gear, but this is a $500 piece of hardware that not only helps you shoot better, but adds a whole new dimension of fun to this hobby. The Gunpower SMT, which stands for Smart Monitor Target, is a $500 electronic target and training system from Korea, available exclusively in the US from evic.com. This is a standalone, impact-sensitive, 24-inch LCD screen that can accurately record BB hits to score and time the shooter. The level of complexity to assemble the unit wasn't quite IKEA level in terms of difficulty, but setting it up the first time was a bit of work. With practice, I suppose you could get it down to about 3-5 to five minutes. It includes an Allen wrench in the box, but I found the screws in the stand to be way tight. Other reviewers have reported similar problems out of the box. I recommend a good ratchet set to get them loose, but I used a rubber mallet. The unit plugs in with a three-prong AC adapter brick. It boots up automatically when turned on. The screen is protected by a special flexible and replaceable plexiglass screen, which also slows down the BBs and eliminates all but a few rare ricochets. But you should, as always, wear eye protection when using this with any airsoft weapon. You control the screen using a button master control pad, which is connected to the unit via a 10 meter USB cable. You can also shoot at the screen and control it like a giant touchscreen, but lightly tapping or pressing it with your finger doesn't work. You have to hit it hard with a fast impact, like a BB. The unit has 11 target games, or modes. I understand there are future games in development, and the unit is software upgradable, though I don't have any information as to how that's going to be implemented or when that's going to roll out. Hopefully it'll be something that you can download from your computer or tablet and connect to the SMT via its USB port. Aiming is a time-based accuracy game. In a grid of 12 circle targets, a random target will glow briefly and you must hit that target before it stops glowing. You'll be presented with a total of 20 targets. Your score is based on your time, plus any penalty time for misses. Command 1 is a long and challenging arcade-style shooting drill, using numbers and shapes. At the start of each stage, you're given a set of three numbers and shapes to shoot among five different targets. You have five shots per stage. Fail to hit all three of your targets or hit the wrong one, and you'll lose a life. You have three lives to complete all 25 stages. Criminal is a law enforcement-style bad guy target with a limit of 10 shots on the target, scored by hit zone. This mode is best used with the user-created challenges such as a force mag change or the shooter changing locations to fire on the SMT. Flip Flop is a two-player game where you claim hex spaces on the game board with a correctly placed shot on a highlighted target. You're given three shots per turn. Your goal is to turn the entire board your color. Miss, and you could turn your hex over to your opponent's color. This game is very competitive but it's best played with two players. Hostage is similar to the criminal target, but with a no-shoot hostage. You're given a total of 10 shots, and if you hit the hostage, you get points taken away. Shot time is an Ipsic-style target surrounded by smaller target steals with various number values. You have a total of 10 shots per round, and you're scored by accuracy and split times. Like Criminal and Hostage, this game improves when you impose shooting challenges like mandatory mag reloads. Target is a simple target bullseye and hunting animal silhouettes. You have 10 shots per round with no time limit, and your score is based on the shot placement on the central bullseye target. Training One is one of two games that allows you to network together up to four different SMT screens, with one master and three slave screens, with a target appearing on each of the screens. You're presented a series of Ipsic paper targets, a no-shoot target, and steel poppers. Your score is based on your time to complete. Training Two is another multi-screen optional game. In this game, you have a series of challenge trees and reactive targets. This game has a good variety of steel targets, and of course, you have the option of enhancing your challenge by imposing physical restrictions and requirements, such as changing shooting positions, or potentially making this a two-gun event by switching to a different weapon. I wasn't able to test the unit with a three-shot shotgun, but uh, if you ever get a chance to, let me know in the comments. 
because it would be kind of cool to be able to do a three gun with an SMT. Zeroing is, as you guessed, for zeroing out your weapon sights and objects. You don't have a time limit or a shot limit. You simply aim at the center of the target, and depending on where your BBs land, you can adjust your sights accordingly. The final mode is zeroing one, which is similar to the previous target, except that it has a five shot limit. The unit measures the size of your five shot group, and this helps you determine any sort of changes that could happen with different BB weights or brands or hop up settings. So what did I think? Well, before we get started with that, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if this is the first time watching a Moondog Industries video, please hit the subscribe button. It encourages me to make more videos like this. And if you like something or dislike something in the video, let me know in the comments. Okay, so I've been playing with this thing for a couple of days and I found some things I really like and some room for improvement. Thanks again to evic.com for sending this unit for me to review. They wanted my unbiased feedback on how to improve it, so I'm gonna tell you what I told them. Screws. In the stand, way too tight out of the box. I think the factory painted over them after they put the screws in place, so it was a pain to loosen them to assemble the stand. Also, the set screw you install in step six really needs to be installed in step three, otherwise you're gonna end up having to unscrew the connector that you just finished installing. And then there's installing the BB catch tray, which isn't adequately explained or described in the instructions. I eventually figured out you have to pull up the arms on the tray and insert them into the small slots in the sides of the screen. And then you can attach the rubber side panels, which help catch ricochets. I was shooting from about 10 feet away with a 350 FPS AEG, and I was pleasantly surprised at how well the plexi screen absorbed the BBs. Uh, there was almost no ricochets. Uh, over 95% of the BBs I fired landed in the catch tray, which makes cleanup, especially indoors, super easy. Now, I had fun with just one unit, and while it would be nice to have more than one, I gotta wonder why they designed them to network with Ethernet cables and wired hubs. This isn't the 1990s. Why didn't they build in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? Maybe to keep the cost down? But here's another thing that people are gonna balk at. It's the price. 500 bucks. But when you consider that's the price of a high-end customized AEG or just two average AEGs, well, maybe then it's not so outrageous. If you already have a bunch of airsoft guns, well, maybe this would be a better use of your funds than buying yet another rifle. In fact, it's the most fun I've had shooting an airsoft gun without actually skirmishing with real people. Especially for folks in parts of the country where you can't play airsoft during the winter months, this is a really good substitute, and it's a really good training tool. And if you're a family man and need another excuse, yes, it even works with Nerf guns. So you could claim you're buying it for the kids. You're welcome. So, is it worth it? That's ultimately up to you. I hope this video helped you decide. And if you decide you do want to get one of these, please use the EVIC link in my video description. Uh, my channel does get a little bit of commission if you do. And if you don't, that's cool. Just do me a favor, share this video with somebody who you think would be interested in this. Again, thanks for watching. Moondog, out.